Hi, thanks for joining in. My name is Basha and welcome to my channel. So today uh, I've got an unboxing video. Um, I've placed a few orders over um, the internet and um, they all came in and I thought I'm just going to do one um, video. So the first one Okay, so the first one is from um, a, an online seller, my favorite seller actually, and um, I have been debating about buying this um, particular phalaenopsis, yes, it's a phalaenopsis yet again. I need to slow down on buying those because I'm slowly running out of time, of place. Now, this one is pretty um, known to everyone. Oh. Okay, the flowers are not in the best conditions. I think they're going over now. But this is Philianopsis Las Vegas. I have been debating about whether to buy this one or not. Um, um, there are different uh, fl you know, shades of the, of the flowers over the internet. Um, but uh, I have decided um, that actually, yeah, it's time to add this one to my collection just in case if you know, like with so many hybrids, they just appear, they, they are quite popular and then they disappear from the market and then you regret that you have not bought them. So better than regret, um, I thought, okay, I'll make a space for this Phalaenopsis in my collection. Uh, it's not fragrant, although I did hear that this particular phalaenopsis is a fragrant one. Um, I'm thinking this could be due to transport um, and obviously cooler weathers, uh, cooler weather, so um, cooler temperatures. So I'm hoping uh, once it settles in, it will release a fragrance. Or it could be just that it's not fragrant. But uh, okay, the root system. It's pretty nice, pretty extensive. Uh, medium, obviously, is pretty much broken down. I can see some soil in there, so that would be replaced for sure. But I will let it settle in first. There we go, so that's my first one. And then a second orchid from the same seller. is another Phalaenopsis. Um, like I said, I will be now, from now on, I will be adding only Phalaenopsis that are quite rare, um, not just for the beautiful flowers, but the ones that are quite rare, um, because I am slowly um, running off the place um, in my house. So this one is pretty special. Now this is um, Phalaenopsis speciosa blue gray, um, and the flowers are gorgeous blue, uh, grayish uh, in color um, nothing like I have seen before and I have got quite a few speciosa and tetraspis um, uh, phalaenopsis um, but this one definitely is quite um, original looking now the next parcel it's from a eBay seller um, and it's Yes, it's Phalaenopsis. And uh, the whole is uh, mostly about Phalaenopsis orchids. Um, and this one is a beautiful fall. Uh, it's a fall that I've seen on the videos of um, Miss Orchid Girl. It's Phalaenopsis pink flamingo. And yes, the flowers are quite small, but the camera is not picking up the true colors. And those flowers are really magenta pink in color, really intense. Um, it looks on the camera as they're very just pink flowers, but they're not. In reality, they're really, really pink, really magenta looking color, uh, flowers. Beautiful color. Um, I've seen that on a Miss Orchid Girl video, and I was on the lookout for this particular phalaenopsis. Um, but... Um, Apparently, you can find it in the flower shops. Um, not in the flower shops um, where I live, unfortunately, because I live in a small town. So uh, we just get the basics, uh, basically. But um, I managed to find this one. 
um, on the internet on eBay. That was only just one uh, orchid um, for sale. The, the seller has just that one single one. Possibly there will be some more. Um, not sure if the seller is going to have more. I'm, I'm not require uh, inquire about this one, but um, I'm pretty happy with this purchase. And another box. Um, now I have pre-opened the boxes obviously because I'm so clumsy when it comes to opening them. Okay, so this one is, yes, another Phalaenopsis. Um, this one, I need to check which one it is. Um, let's just have a look. Um, okay. Okay, so this one is Phalaenopsis pavoda. Um, it's a phalaenopsis with beautiful, huge, lilac -y, peachy, pink flowers. I know it makes no sense, but it, the colors are kind of changing as the flowers mature. I have seen this phalaenopsis on the um, uh, website of Here By But Not, um, Dustin Miller. Um, it's featured there. Um, it's one of his biggest phalaenopsis. And I thought, wow, it, he says it's an OID. However, um, I have noticed that actually that phalaenopsis, no ID, his big no ID phalaenopsis is the phalaenopsis Padova. And uh, I had to uh, check all the internet sources and I had to get this one. Now, I have seen on the internet as well as I was buying it on the eBay that it has got problem with this leaf. It's not a pest problem. I think it's some sort of, a, I don't know, some sort of growth. The new leaf, however, is coming out nicely. And this, this was the next leaf and this is came out really nice and healthy. So I'm not really worried about this one. What happens with this one? Definitely not a pest damage, possibly some sort of deficiency or maybe cold damage, but um, definitely not pest damage. But like I said, this leaf has came out really nice and healthy and he's got another leaf coming out. Beautiful red system. Um, media, not the media I would use, is a coconut husk I can see. Um, so not the media I would use, I definitely will change it to my um, preferred uh, media of choice. And now the last uh, purchase, last but left, the best for last. Now this Phalaenopsis again, I purchased this on eBay. However, I was watching this Phalaenopsis for about two or three months. Um, at the beginning, it was for sale in flower. However, obviously the flower has faded and the seller has decreased the price because this orchid wasn't cheap. But why wasn't it cheap? It's because it's pretty rare and you can't buy it. Um, it's, we can't certainly buy it in Europe. Um, I have not seen anywhere in Europe, um, but um, possibly you can buy it in US because in US um, there's much more choice than we have got here in Europe and certainly than we have got here in UK. There's a bark coming out um, and the orchid is coming out of the spot. I will put it back in again, but this orchid it's got stunning flowers and it's called Pao Giaho Summer Law. And it's focusing. And I'm gonna focus. I think that's as good as it's gonna get. And the flowers are stunning. Um, it's beautiful, um, kind of creamy, greenish color with um, um, pinky. Um, um lavender magenta kind of color uh, around the uh, around the sepals and petals petals um so that is a gorgeous gorgeous flowers i will attach this to this video um i did watch it for quite a while like i said i did debate whether to get it or not a lot of people have been watching that uh, listing as well and uh, i thought right i have to get it now because if i don't someone else will and then i will regret it Especially, like I said, because this phalaenopsis, <coughs> excuse me, is quite hard to come by. So that was my haul for today. Um, like I said, mostly phalaenopsis. Um, however, I did place an order, an import order on Vandas. Um, they will possibly come 
in the next couple of months because I think CITES and Faisal, uh, Faisal sanitary um, documents, they take about four weeks to come. Uh, so I, I should imagine another maybe six, seven weeks till I get this um, Vanda order, but those are beautiful Vandas. Most of them species um, definitely are the ones that I cannot get here in the UK. So I'm really excited by this order, for this order. Uh, and I'm really happy with this one. Um, I will assess those orchids. Um, I will put them in their places. I will let them settle in and then I will do a big report video. Um, uh, showing how I report my orchids and that one needs to go back in that spot anyway thank you very much for watching um, and thank you very much for listening to my blabbering and I'll see you in my next video bye